Hi, my name is Siri and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new. Today, I just really wanted to film a super chill, like current favorites video. Um, so yeah, I'm just in my cozy attire. The only reason I really have makeup on is because I went out earlier. Today, I just really wanted to film and I didn't want to do like a makeup video. I just wanted to do a video where we just like sit down and like talk. So I thought it would be a really good idea to start doing like current favorites every once in a while because I personally refer back to my old videos if I want to learn like a makeup technique that I did at one point and it looked really good or a certain look and I can just like look back at my old videos. So I thought it would be like a really cool idea to do a current favorite so that I can document like what my favorite products are so that I can refer back to it whenever I need to and also I can just share my current favorites with you guys. Okay so first I'm going to start off with makeup. So I first have my current favorite lashes and they're actually both drugstore. In the past I used to wear the faux mink Mykonos. Those used to be like my ride or die lashes but recently I have tried two pairs of lashes in the drugstore which I have been in love with. So the first ones I'm wearing right now they are the Ardell Wispies and I've tried the Dummy Wispies which are like the blue pack but I've never tried the original ones and I personally love them for everyday wear because they look like how my lashes would naturally look with mascara on. They don't look super fake or plasticky. I love these for everyday with like a really simple makeup look because you can just throw these bad boys on and they're just out the door. You just throw these on and then boom, I have like natural looking lashes. The next pair are these. These are from Kiss and this is their Lash Couture Naked Drama in chiffon and this is what they look like they are just super fluffy i'll insert pictures of me wearing them these just look so beautiful they're so fluffy but they're not like completely filled in as you guys can see there's a lot of spaces in them so you can see your actual eye look which i personally love i think they call it the split tip lash design and basically they're like layered and they look like super 3d I don't know how to explain it. These are so, so pretty. And these are only like seven bucks. Um, I will say I do have to go to Ulta to get these because when I try to go to my drugstores, they never have these. But I think it's personally worth it. I just take a trip to Ulta every once in a while and I just pick up three to four pairs just so I'm never out. Speaking of eyelashes, the next thing I have is this lash glue. This is from Kiss. This is their super strong hold eyelash adhesive and clear so basically before i started using kisses eyelash adhesive i was using the duo lash glue and no just no i can't believe i let myself use lash glue out of a tube for so long like brush on lash adhesive is superior it's superior i'm sorry this stuff is super easy to apply i just apply two thin coats onto my lashes and then apply my lashes and my lashes stay in place all day and what i really really like about this is it's not impossible to take off i was expecting this to like not come off but i take off my lashes with like an eye makeup remover so i don't know i don't pull my lashes off usually unless they're like already coming off and once again this is really cheap too i think this might be like six bucks the next eye product that i have is this this is the l'oreal lash paradise and i love this on my top and bottom lashes it just makes your eyelashes super fluffy and wispy but since i've been wearing these ardell lashes like every day i haven't really been putting on mascara on my top lashes but i still love this for my bottom lashes i feel like it just makes them super fluffy and super like long and voluminous and just really really pretty which i really 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 do like i personally feel like your bottom lashes are just as important as your top lashes and this really does it so next i'm going to do like face products so the first product i have is the lara mercier flawless fusion concealer and this is in the shade 4n and i've had this concealer for a while i've had it for a couple months now and the only time I really wore it was like in videos and I would always mix it with something else so I never really saw how it applied on its own but recently I have been using this on its own and I've been loving it. It's like thick 
it's a thicker concealer, but it's not super heavy. I don't know how to explain it. It's just, it's, I love this concealer. It's so amazing. And I love the color too. I feel like this is like the perfect shade. It's not super golden where it's like yellow, but it's not like gray or like pink or like anything weird. The next product I have is this. And I discovered this in my trying out products I never use video, which is the Lancome Starlight Sparkle Face Palette in Glam. And I discovered this beautiful, beautiful, gorgeous highlighter. This is in Radiant Rose Gold. What I like to do is I like to apply a more intense highlighter first. I will use this to kind of blend it out and like fill it in. And I feel like it's just a really nice companion highlighter. I also like to use this in like my inner corners or like my brow bone highlight. I just think it's a very pretty smooth, even highlighter and it's not too like chunky or glittery or anything like that. I got this during the holidays like two years ago as a gift so I don't know if this is like limited edition or anything. Next I have lip products and these lip products I have been using for months. The first one that I have is from NYX and it is their lip liner in the shade Plum. I love to use this with any like pink lip gloss or pink lip look i feel like it just adds like a nice dimension it's really deep which i really like this can never steer me wrong like every time i use this i'm instantly in love with my lip look so i've been loving this for any time i wear like a pink gloss or even a clear gloss or if i want to make like a nude look a pinky nude i'll just throw on this lip liner and then for glosses i have two that i've been like obsessed with for like the past couple months so the first one is from revlon and it's a super lustrous the gloss and this one is in the shade super natural you actually don't need a lip liner which is odd because i always need a lip liner but this is so pretty you can apply it by itself you can apply it on top of another product and it's basically it's pretty sheer but you can build up the coverage and it it has a hint of like this beautiful pink which you can see right here i love applying this on top of any lip look or just by itself or i will wear this with this lip liner this is like five bucks or less at the drugstore so it is amazing i love the formula it's not sticky it's not uncomfortable they did update the applicator so now it's like this big applicator so i use this side to apply the product and i use the other side to blend it out this is just such an amazing gloss i feel like this is so underrated and i definitely want to try out their other glosses just because i love this gloss and the formula and obviously the price point they're so cheap and then my next gloss i have is from urban decay and i would have never thought to ever buy these i bought this a while ago this is the urban decay hi-fi shine gloss and this one is in raptor and basically this is like a deep plum shade but like this one it's like sheer so you can apply this without a lip liner or i will wear a lip liner in this together it's just a beautiful like sheer plummy shade it just looks so pretty it makes your lips just look wet but you can also still see the tint on it which is really really nice i also appreciate this is darker than my lips like it doesn't look like ashy when i put it on both my lips like it it's deeper than my lips which i I really really appreciate also this formula is super super thin and it just glides on super easy and it also has like a mint flavor to it which i really really like because i personally i love mint glosses don't know why people hate them so much like why wouldn't you want your mouth to smell like mint i digress i have another one that i never really got to use so I want to try out the other one that I own, but they have like a huge line of them. So I want to try out some more of these definitely in the future. So obviously if you've seen like my other videos, you guys know that I didn't wear makeup for a really long time. This is what I wore when I didn't wear any makeup. So on top of my skincare, I started wearing vitamin E oil and I was really scared because people always act like oils are the worst thing on the planet but different oils are at like different levels of the comedogenic scale so certain oils will more likely clog your pores than others i personally did not react to vitamin e oil so for a really long time this was like my makeup product that i would use so after my entire skincare routine in the morning and i apply this at night i will just apply this like under my eyes and most importantly like do like on my cheekbones i just love this product because it would give me like a glossy face so i would apply it like here 
and like maybe on the brow bone and then like I would pat it over my entire face and I just love this product honestly it made me feel so pretty even though I wasn't wearing makeup so um this one is a new bottle I don't want to show you guys my old bottle because it like the packaging is like rubbing off and then this was my other product that I loved wearing when I wasn't wearing any makeup. This is from Bath and Body Works and it's their menthol lip shine. These are amazing lip balms that look like lip gloss. A lot of clear lip glosses are honestly sketch. <laughs> like, I don't know how else to say it, but they're just really cheap and they're like gloopy and like gross. So basically I would apply like a regular lip balm, like my Laneige lip balm first and then I would apply this on top of it and it just made my lips just so like slippery and like wet looking and just hydrated and just so pretty and this stuff lasts for hours like for hours my lips would be looking so just like hydrated and moisturized it was it was amazing I'm like almost out I'm pretty sure because like I can't feel any product. Next we have hair and honestly I don't really switch up the products I use for my hair but one thing I've been loving are these and these are these like hair clips. I don't know what their names are formally called. Are they like claws or like something? I don't know but I've been loving these. I have a clear one in my hair right now and then I picked up these two and then I also have this one which is really really cute I don't know I've been loving wearing these you can get these like at like any drugstore I got this one while I was in like Miami but like I'm pretty sure you can like find this on like Amazon or something but I've been loving these because it just helps not damage your hair as much they're just very easy to just clip your hair up and it's very easy to just put your hair down and there's no tugging or pulling or anything so I've really, really been loving these. So that concludes my current favorites. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I love you all so much, and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye, my loves.